it's been way too long, but finally bikes are back. After just one real road race last year, it's time for the first of 2021 here in Armoy. And this is exactly what we've all been missing. <laughs> the smell, the spectators, the special atmosphere. It's just brilliant to be returning to a motorcycle paddock to bring you the best of the action from the Armoy race of legends. This is a hugely popular event, but even more keenly anticipated this year because of the absence from the calendar of the major international races and some national events because of the coronavirus pandemic. Armoy always attracts a first class entry, and this year is no different. Top of the bill is Michael Dunlop from Balamoney. He's the lap record holder and has eight wins in a row in the feature superbike race. Guy Martin, now a TV personality, returns to the roads for a rare appearance. Another Englishman, Davey Todd, is riding for the locally owned Wilson Craig Honda team. Joey Thompson from Yorkshire takes a break from BFB to race in Northern Ireland. Mackerfeld's Paul Jordan is a former Armoy winner. There's an impressive local duo of Adam McLean and Daryl Twee on board McAdoo Kawasaki's. And a very strong Republic of Ireland challenge comes in a trio of multiple Irish champions, Derek Shields from Dublin, Mullingar's Derek McGee, and from Skerry's Michael Sweeney. Just some of the riders making up full grids here. There are dozens of newcomers as well. The Armoy Club really has done a tremendous job putting this event together in difficult circumstances with restrictions changing constantly. Compared to some of our other national road races with a long history, this is a reasonably new addition, which was first run back in 2009. It's a super meeting staged on the public roads. The course is just over three miles long, triangular in shape, full of tight twists and turns, and winds its way through the countryside and the tiny village of Armoy. So let's get the racing underway. First up, it's the ultra-competitive super sport class. We could be in for a real treat here. On commentary for us, it's Dave Moore. Five laps, the race distance over this three mile course. What a talented front row we've got. Oh my goodness, now then, Derek McGee is pulled over. Derek McGee, who was between Michael Dunlop and Adam McLean, has pulled over. Here we go, watch the light touch. A cracking start by Adam McLean. McLean straight in, followed by 16, Mike Brown. Not the greatest of starts by Michael Dunlop. Davey Todd just tucks in behind him. On board with Mike Brown as he goes in pursuit of Adam McLean on this opening lap. Here's McLean, but look out for Dunlop. Dunlop off around the, the outside of Mike Brown, goes into second place. Dominic Herbertson also up a position as well. It looks like he's just gone past Paul Jordan, has he? Yes, he has. Oh, that was close. Dunlop just tucking in. That's Davey Todd just behind him in fourth place. And Dunlop through the second. Michael Dunlop passed Mike Brown, and now in hot pursuit of the race leader, Adam McLean. Maybe Top still very much in the picture in fourth position. Dominic Herbertson in fifth. Paul Jordan in sixth place. Jordan doing his utmost to stay with this lead group. Maybe Top still in fourth position on the Wilson Craig machine. Across the line they go. And it is Adam McLean just from Michael Dunlop, but Dunlop, super close. It's all eyes on the Valley Money man. He's in pursuit of his 21st victory at Old Boy. Here they come again, McLean. Breaks in time, Mike Brown. Losing third place, it looks as if to Davey Todd, or has he? They're side by side, and Todd goes through, so Davey Todd now into third. And now he goes in search of Michael Dunlop and Adam McLean. Oh, a big moment! A massive moment for Mike Brown. 
Dominic Herbertson will be thinking about that, what he's just seen as well. Oh my goodness, Mike Brown with a bit of a slap up. This is that moment again. That's where he loses it just there. The bike straightens itself out. Oof. One more time. And that's it. Both wheels off the ground. If they don't land in a straight line, then you could have a problem. There's nothing between them. And there's nothing between Mike Brown and I think it's Dominic Coverton has gone through now. McLean still holding on to first place. Michael Dunlop refusing to let go. Davey Todd trying his utmost to stay with the lead two machines. But these two are running at such a pace. There was only six hundredths of a second between them at the end of lap two. And Dunlop leads. Michael Dunlop leads. So Dunlop takes over at the front. So one lap to go. Battles all the way down the order. And it is Michael Dunlop who leads from Adam McClay. In the end of lap three, there was only three hundred of a second between them until Dunlop decided to go for it on the fourth lap of five. Oh, Mike Brown. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it. He is going for it. Mike Brown at the inside of Herbertson. Here comes Michael Dunlop to take the checkered flag. It's victory number 21 at Oamoy for Michael Dunlop, Adam McLean in a super second place. Fastest lap of the race goes to the race winner, Michael Dunlop. Second place to Adam McLean. David Todd on the podium in third, ahead of Mike Brown, Paul Jordan, and Dominic Herbertson. Talk us through the race, a great, great tussle with Adam. Hi. Derek Ronaldo, which was a bit of a pity. Uh, Something up, I don't know, something happened there, but I stayed up by five laps, quick dash, so it was one of them ones. Do you enjoy coming to Armoy as the man to be? <laughs> There's too many boys out there right now, but you know, people just think you just rock up here, and you know, a lot of people's been in the Rodeo Islands, and you know, it really is, it's just, ah, it's different, don't get me right, listen, people think because I live up the road over here every day, you know, my poor fellow works another way, so I'm never down, but it's nice, it's a home, that's what I like, you know what I mean, so. Uh, that's handy for me. <laughs> Adam, a thrilling duel with Michael. Yeah, I'm um, happy enough for that. I knew it was a bit weak at uh, this last turn here. Uh, Mike just wasn't handling for me through it. I felt it was pushing me right a wee bit, so I was struggling to keep the throttle open. After everything you've been through, it must be good to be back and back on the podium, though. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, re rebroke my arm and. Uh, in uh, October at Brands Hatch, his last round of British Championship. Uh, and it didn't look as if it was going to be racing again up until February time, it was looking a bit bleak. So, uh, to have made big steps forward in just a short period of time, injury wise, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it. So, uh, I've chipped away at it behind the scenes and happy enough. So, a super start for Michael Dunlop, who won the lightweight super sport race as well. It was a great tussle with Derek McGee, who liked Dunlop is back road racing competitively for the first time since 2019. Dunlop, who was making a rare appearance on a Honda 250, broke the lap record. Next up, it's the Moto3 and the 125. Always an enjoyable class to watch. So there's the green flag. We're about to launch the Moto3 125 GP Super Sport 300 machines. We're on board with Mike Brown. He's on the Joey's Bar bike. But it's number 30, Melissa Kennedy, who's engaged to Gary Dunlop, who's running the Joey's Bar bike, which Mike Brown is riding. Next wave away, 49. Here's Malcolm Love from Porter Down. He's just ahead of machine number 34, and that is Sean Lennon. Here comes Mike Brown, looking for the move. So Mike Brown goes through into the lead from Melissa Kennedy. Of course, we'll have to wait to see what happens with the second wave of riders. Number five, RJ Wolsey on the 300cc Kawasaki. Oh, he's just messed it up slightly, lost a little bit of ground. Such a popular part of the circuit. 
So RJ Walsey side by side with number 40, Barry Davidson. It's Davidson who still has the edge in this little battle. 81 and 86 McGee, of course. Oh, that's out to the edge, right out to the edge. Across the line, takes the checkered flag. So a victory for Mike Brown. Second place should go to Melissa Kennedy. Indeed, it does go to Melissa Kennedy, who finishes second to Mike Brown. Gareth Arnold, for the Isle of Man, the quickest of the Honda 125s. It's Barry Davidson, who was the fastest in the Supersport 300s, just ahead of RJ Woolsey, with Linton Owen claiming third. Mike, congratulations. Great to get a, a win on the wee bike. Yeah, I was delighted. Uh, it was, uh, they're hard to get off the line once I got going, I was happy enough. <laughs> Melissa pushed you hard? Yeah, she was in front for a lap, two laps, and just when I got going, I kind of settled in and kicked away. Melissa, great race. Yeah, fantastic. Um, I knew you obviously Mike would be a way off without us all, but um, I got my head down. Towards the end, I was starting to get a wee bit tired, my arms were getting sore, and I could hear Owen coming behind me. And I was like, I was waiting for him to pass me, and uh, he did get past me around the back. And I said to myself, I need to pass him here somewhere. So I just passed him before Kennedy's, and that was that. <laughs> Time now for some more super sport action. There has been a little drizzle, but the track is dry and conditions are good. Michael Dunlop is again in pole position and he's hoping to extend his record number of 21 wins at his home circuit. Seven laps the race distance then as Adam McLean takes his position on the front row alongside Jerry McGee, who dramatically pulled out with seconds to go at the start of the first super sport race on Friday night. Michael Dunlop in pole position. We are ready to go. No Daryl Tweed amongst any of this lot, of course. He had his spill on Friday night. Oh, there's Darren McGee straight across the nose of Adam McLean. McGee will take the whole shot. McLean in second place by the looks of things. Indeed, it is Davy Todd third. Michael Dunlop in fourth position. But certainly Adam McLean may have had to hold off or held off just for a moment as McGee moved across to go into the lead. Joey Thompson just ahead of this second wave of riders. board with Adam McLean as he goes after the race leader which is still Derek McGee on this opening lap. Davy Todd in third just a little bit of a gap between the third and fourth place riders. I don't think Michael Dorff will be too concerned about that at the moment. Here they come. One of the most spectacular parts of the circuit hugely popular with the spectators. Oh wobbles for Todd and for Dunlop. It's Derek McGee who leads from Adam McLean. Todd has closed that gap down between third and second place. Michael Dunlop just playing the waiting game. Lots of time left in this race, of course. Seven laps the race distance. Across the line, it's McGee from McLean, from Todd, from Dunlop. It could be a four-way fight for honours in this one. A gap back to the man in fifth place. Riding with David Todd. Will we see Michael Dunlop appear any moment now? There's a fair bet that he will, but he won't. So Todd still holding off Michael Dunlop. Jeremy McGee still setting the pace out front. Here they come. McLean looking for a way past McGee. But McGee, if, well, you say defending, he's absolutely flying. There's no way McLean can just find that little bit of oomph he needs just to get past into first place. Here they come again. One of the most spectacular sights of any racetrack in the world. They drop down to this left, long left loop. And McLean under pressure. McGee with his foot off the peg. I wonder what the indication was there. As it is, Michael Dunlop goes through to third place. Anyway, the race goes on, it's still McGee. Oh, and Dunlop now goes through, right at the end of the lap to snatch second place from McLean. Incredible. So, four tenths of a second, the gap between first and second place. Oh, and here comes Dunlop, up the inside. 
Michael Dunlop, new race leader. Darren McGee, back to second place. It didn't take long, lap number three of seven, and Michael Dunlop has hit the front. Michael Dunlop, up into first place. Lots of encouragement for Michael Dunlop, this part of the world. Oh, Moy, very much his territory. But here they come, watch these wheels go light. It's almost motocross. And here they come again. Getting crossed up. And McGee still with him. McGee refusing to let go of Dunlop. Here they come, they're side by side. McGee from Dunlop, is it? No, it's Dunlop still from Derek McGee. But Dunlop knows he has a fight on his hands. Adam McLean in a distant third place. You can just see the front two up ahead. McGee, having reclaimed the lead on lap six, has lost it again to Michael Dunlop. And Michael Dunlop leading from Derek McGee on this last lap. Adam McLean looks like he'll have to settle for a hard-fought third position. Not far to go then for Michael Dunlop from Derek McGee. The gap back to Adam McLean in third place. And here he is, McLean. It's an exhilarating final lap. But McGee has not given up. He's closed that gap right down. He can still do this. He needs good exit. He's got a good exit. So too though is Dunlop. Here they come. McGee snatched the lead at the end of lap six. Can he do it again at the end of lap seven? No! Two hundredths of a second between them. It's Michael Dunlop who takes the victory. What a fantastic super sport race. <coughs> Adam McLean settles for third place ahead of Davey Todd. But Derek McGee just losing out right at the end to Michael Dunlop. What a battle that was. Michael, congratulations. How close but how difficult a race was that for you? I was quick to the MLC down to pushing hard there. And so I, got, I got hot and heavy there. And then the last lap, a bit of confusion in the chicane. Uh, I was still the lead at the time of the flag, not the hat trick so far. And it's alright, I look at this. Things are going well, so you just have to just keep your head down and keep battling on. And I know in the first Super Sport race you were actually disappointed that Derek had to take his bike off the grid. Because yeah. you want to beat the best here, yeah, don't you? I'm not disappointed now. <laughs> uh, I'm glad he had to. Oh, no, I think Derek's riding well there, so he got to get away from him. Derek, you pushed him hard. Yeah, fantastic race. Great start today. Fair play to little cows and kids flying. And thanks to being in W racing and Diamond Edge cutting for the bike. I saw the two of you having a chat afterwards. A little bit of confusion in the chicane, was it? Ah, yeah, it was just a bit tight in the chicane, but it's just the nature of it. Mickey was on the inside and there wasn't a whole lot of room, but we got through okay. Next up, it's the big bikes. Michael Dunlop, the obvious favourite, but he can only manage fifth place in qualifying. It's Derek Shields who's in pole position after setting the fastest time to edge out Michael Sweeney. Can either of them or anyone else break the Dunlop dominance? What a grid we have for this one. In pole position, Derek Shields alongside him, Michael Sweeney and Mike Brown. Row number two, Derek McGee and Michael Dunlop. This is the view from Derek Shields as we wait for those lights to go out. Green flag waved at the back. Here we go, folks. The big superbikes are about to launch themselves, and it looks like it's Shields, perhaps, who's going to take the whole shot. McGee from row two, trying to slot into second place, perhaps, or will he settle for third? It is McGee who goes in ahead of Sweeney. Done off his fourth, Davy Todd is in fifth place. Seven laps the race distance. This promises to be a corker. It looks as if. Michael Dunlop is in front of Michael Sweeney, indeed he is, so Dunlop up in the third, Sweeney back to fourth. David Todd's trying to stay with him in fifth position, Mike Brown back in sixth place. Derek Shields, an Irish Superbike champion, leading them. Back with the second wave, Dominic Herbertson. Battling away with Joe Lachlan, but not able to force his way through. <laughs> Over the line. Oh, Dunlop's going for McGee. Dunlop is going for McGee, and he's got him. Dunlop timed that to perfection, up in the second place, and now chasing the race leader. So Derek McGee shuffled back to third place. Sweeney now thinking about McGee. Sweeney on the brakes. 
can't quite make a move stick at this moment. The Sweeney still in fourth, a very close fourth, while Michael Delop is still in pursuit of Derek Shields. Closing. In fact, I was going to suggest perhaps taking the lead. And Dunlop just settling for second at the moment, but he's thinking about first place. And I would fancy perhaps on the run out of the final turn up to the uh, end of the lap could be where Dunlop will try and make his move. And if not, Perhaps he may go for the chicane like he did to Derek McGee at the end of the previous lap. Here they go. Here he comes, and it is, in fact, Dunlop who does do that. But he goes into the lead ahead of Derek Shields. Derek McGee still very close by in third place. But what can they do about Michael Dunlop now that he's hit the front? Can they stay with him? Oh, a little twitch from Dunlop as he hits the brakes. 90 degree turn. Well, this is the moment when Michael Dunlop goes through on Derek Shields to take the race lead. Oh, Sweeney having a pop at McGee. He'll do well to pass here. Oh, Dunlop edging away at the front. It looks like being a battle for second place. Dunlop is pulled the pin. He's on his way. About one and a half seconds between Dunlop and Shields at the end of the previous lap. So I think it looks as if Michael Dunlop already, we're just over halfway through this race, but Michael Dunlop already looks like a race winner. But there is a lot to be sorted out for second place. Here comes Dunlop. And that gap is increasing. It may have been one and a half seconds, it's more like three now. So Dunlop in the groove. And Sweeney all over the back of McGee. Michael Dunlop fans will be delighted to see their man out in front and with a good lead at this stage in the race. But these three providing all the entertainment as well behind. Oh, Sweeney right up on the rear of Derek McGee this time. He yeah, lost a little bit of momentum there. I think he may have had to slow him because he got so close to McGee. So here's a replay of that moment on board with Michael Sweeney. How close to McGee does he? Oh, that close. That close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Sweeney tries again, but is unable to get through on Derek McGee. But they've closed that gap back up to second place man Derek Shields now. It will take something dramatic for the, a change in this race order. Here comes Michael Dunlop to take the chequered flag. It's his fourth win of the weekend at Elmoy. Who's in second place? We're still waiting for them to come into distance. Here they come. Oh, it's Shields from McGee. And Sweeney has to settle for fourth. What a cracking open race that was. Another win, though, for Michael Dunlop. Here's the confirmation of that result. Seven and a half seconds, the distance between Dunlop and Shields. McGee third, Sweeney fourth, with Todd and Crow fifth and sixth. Michael, brilliant ride. A win, a lap record. Doesn't get much better than that. No, I'm still not bad. I'm certainly not great in the grid, which doesn't help. Uh, what's happened to that? They say it's the fun of the game, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah. Uh, I, Aye, it was good. I just the weather's good. We, we muzzle there, but it's fine. And Mike's running well. We had a few changes. We made a few more changes. And yeah, thanks to the boys, it's done a good job. Derek, well done. Uh, you held Michael at bay for as long as you could. Yeah, that's it. You know, he's always going to be hard to be around there. And, you know, it's star step really. So, come out the start, don't want to go out, and then my arms just pumped up like crazy. But I'll tell you, if they didn't, I would have beaten. But you know, good pair of race, and I was just sort of hanging on for dear life from the end of it. <laughs> Is he beatable in the in the big one later? Do you think? Ah, I don't know. 
if you if you the whole ass like you know it's all horrible. We'll see. We give it a go and sure try and hopefully the motor bike care so I'm riding more machine so you're going out cold on the big bike so you know if I had a bit more laps maybe the arm pay and pump this pay you know. So four wins out of four for the unstoppable Michael Dunlop. He's not out in the next race for the Super Twins. It's Derek McGee who's the pole sitter this time. The bike's moving up on the grid then for the Super Twins. It's Derek McGee in pole position. Joe Lachlan completing the front row of the grid as McGee gets us underway. Adam McLean slots into second place from the front row. Michael Sweeney is there too. So is Dominic Herbertson. Lachlan is shuffled from the front row back to fifth place. Dominic Herbertson goes up from row two into fourth. But it's McGee who leads this one. Number two, the unmistakable Ian Locker on the pattern. So it's McGee from McLean, Sweeney from Herbertson, Lachlan in fifth position. Herbertson just squaring the corner off. Didn't get a good exit because of that. So we're riding with the man in fifth place, looking back to the sixth position. Bill Lockwood, who began the race on the front row, now has his work cut out to make up those positions he's lost. Here they come. It is McGee still in first from McLean. And Herbertson closing that gap down into Michael Sweeney in third. A suggestion perhaps that McGee is just pulling away from Adam McLean now. Still no change in the order. But a long way to go, of course, in this race. Again, the start from Dominic Herbertson on row two. Goes past Joe Lachlan. He doesn't get the best of starts from the front row. Lachlan just has to hold off on the pattern. And here comes Herbertson up the inside of Sweeney. Can he make the move stick? And Lachlan goes around the outside. Can Lachlan turn in time? Lachlan does indeed go into third place. It's Paul Michael Sweeney who gets properly duffed up. And Herbertson, who thought he'd come from fourth into third, finds himself still in fourth place, or does he? It's a battle royale for third place. McLean, meanwhile, is going up the inside of McGee. And McLean takes over the front. It's all happening now in this Super Twin race. Derek McGee back to second place. Adam McLean now leads. Who's in third place, though? And it's all McGee now alongside, and he retakes first place. Do any thoughts, McLean? And about holding on to the race lead, suddenly snatched away from him. Oh, Lachlan on the back wheel on the pattern. Sweeney just losing touch. But McGee's had a wake-up call from Adam McLean. Adam McLean, good drive out of the turn. Here comes Ian Locker. Switch on those headlights if it goes up. That's Sweeney. Michael Sweeney's in retirement was holding a very strong position. So one more lap to go then for Derek McGee. Completed six of the seven laps. Ended all of them in first place. Joe Lachlan in third and Dominic Herbertson are certainly a distant fourth now. So Derek McGee just a couple of miles or so away from the checkered flag. It's not been the closest of races, but certainly has been thrilling. We've seen some great moves. So Derek McGee, you can see Adam McLean a long way back. That's around six, seven seconds back on McLean. Under pressure from Joe Lachlan now. Joe Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan goes through to second place. So on the final lap, Joe Lachlan second from Adam McLean in third. I wonder if Adam McLean thought maybe he had that sewn up. But here comes Derek McGee, across the line he goes. He's also broken Ryan Farquhar's lap record. It stood for six years. So the silver twin lap record now goes to Derek McGee. Second place goes to Joe Lachlan. Third, Adam McLean.
confirmation of the result then, with Dominic Herbertson in fourth place. Adam McLean having to settle for third behind Joe Lockwood, and it's Darren McGee, win number five at Armoy. Celebratory wheelie of the highest standard from Darren McGee as he laps the applause of the spectators. Senior Classic saw a big crowd favourite Guy Marlin take to the track. He's retired from top level competitive road racing to concentrate on his television work and other projects. But he does make the odd appearance in the classic races. This is just his second time at Armoy since his big crash at the Ulster Grand Prix in 2015 that left him with serious injuries. Martin finished second to veteran Ian Locker but loved his return to Northern Ireland. I saw a lost interest in racing, sort of full stop. Because now I'm going to be mile racing, that's all I'm, that's all I'm bothered doing, except for over. Like, yeah, I'm England, out in England, not really that focused, but like, as soon as the road race, I'm here. My name's after, I'll get my name down, we're good. As long as we're alive, don't need it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, it's always good to see you back. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great. I really enjoyed it. Cheers, boss. Well, Always great to see Guy Martin here. Time now for the final race of the day, the big one, the race of legends. In recognition of a group of riders called the Armoy Armada, who raced in the 1970s. The quartet was the five times world champion Joey Dunlop, Frank Kennedy, Mervyn Robinson, and Joey's brother Jim. Now, Joey's nephew Michael has a chance to make it a record breaking nine race of legends victories in a row. That's right, Stephen. Michael Dunlop in search of what would be a ninth successive Race of Legends victory here at Armoy. He doesn't start in pole position, though. That honour goes to Derek Shields, alongside him, Michael Sweeney. Dunlop on row two. Mike Brown, number 16, completing the front row as the lights go out. Sweeney on his rear wheel, which he doesn't want to be. And it's Derek McGee from row two who takes the lead into the chicane. Michael Dunlop has shuffled back, so too is Mike Brown. Derek Shields in second place. Next wave away. And it's Andy Farrell who leads them into the chicane. James Chalk and Davey Morgan at the back of that little five-way fight. Here they come all over the place. But it's McGee in first position. Dunlop looking for a way past Davey Todd if he can find it. Not on this occasion. We're riding with Derek Shields in pursuit of the race leader, Derek McGee. Looking, these two Derek's looking to spoil Michael Dunlop's record here. Andy Farrell, meanwhile, is taking the second wave, which includes Richard Charlton. He really has to break it if he can. He needs to pull away because he knows it's all eyes on Michael Dunlop, really, isn't it? Because he is in fourth place, as we've seen so far today and even last night. He doesn't have to be at the front at the early stages of a race, but he works his way through. He picks them off one by one, and just as he's about to do here, perhaps, on Michael Sweeney. But he can't get through just at the moment. But watch out for him as he comes up towards the end of the lap. Here is Derek Shields in second place. McGee, the rider just off to the distance, who leads. And there goes Dunlop already up into second position. Where did Michael Dunlop come from? Well, here's the answer. Having passed Sweeney, he then made his way through on Derek Shields. David Todd still in fifth position. Mike Brown is there in sixth. Derek McGee, don't look over your shoulder. And Dunlop very much now with the bit between his teeth. Threatening, pushing, controlling. Here they come. Dunlop alongside. And it is Dunlop who goes into the lead. Oh my goodness, a massive moment for Derek McGee. You can see it again now. And there it is, heart in mouth time for Derek McGee. But the 
this is riding with various shields and just losing the position really now and losing two positions. I wonder why that is. So while Michael Dunlop is racing out in front, it's all eyes on these three for the battle for second place. Tweedy just behind Davy Todd. So through goes Michael Dunlop. Who will appear in second place? There they come in the distance. It is still Derek McGee from Davy Todd and Michael Sweeney. Nothing really between them. All neat and orderly. Yeah, Derek Shields with a problem. So it looks as if that's that for Derek Shields. Over the line goes McGee for second place. Davy Todd still in third. Michael Sweeney in fourth. Deborah Shields coming in for retirement. What a shame, he was going so well, but that is that for Derek Shields. Yeah, race of legends, and we are looking at one. 32 years of age, Michael Dunlop. Derek McGee, still in second place. In that moment, for most of us, would still be fresh in our minds, but he'll be concentrating 100% on the job in hand and making sure he hangs on at least a second place from Davy Todd. We need Todd alongside him, and Todd goes through for second. I wonder if Derek McGee has been shaken up a little bit by what happened earlier. Here he is then to take the chequered flag and ninth successive race of legends victory for Michael Dunlop. David Todd will take second place, and Derek McGee should be third, or is he going to take second right in? Oh, my goodness me, no. Oh, there's a little bit of um, belly cam looks to be a little bit flapping from David Todd. I wonder what's happened there. Confirmation of the result, Derek McGee, third, but less than half a second ahead of Michael Sweeney. Just behind David Todd, though, for second, but Michael Dunlop, a convincing victory yet again. Michael Dunlop comes in, is it a celebratory burnout? Indeed it is. We've waited a long time to see Michael Dunlop win a race again. He's won five this weekend. What a star. You can see why everybody loves him. Michael, congratulations. That was impressive. Five wins at Armoy has been quite an event for you. Right, five races, five wins. So, can't really complain in any way. So, I see the boys work hard, you know, the lads have come out. And I've been out, you know, the year after and they've come back and we've done a great job, so happy enough. So a record-breaking day for Michael Dunlop. All the action is available to watch again on the BBC iPlayer and we'll have more road racing for you next month from the Cookstown 100. But this weekend, it's been a masterclass from Michael Dunlop. From all of us here at Armoy, it's bye-bye.